The robotics industry of the Silicon Desert is fast paced and cutthroat at times, but reporter Jake Epley visited a club that is showing the fun side of robotics by destroying them as well. This is the world of BattleBots, pinning two remote control machines against each other with the intent of destruction. It's a huge adrenaline rush. 15-year-old Nick Doberkoff is a member of Arizona Robotics Combat, a club founded in late 2016 with the goal of building a following for combat robotics in the Phoenix area. You have these two really powerful robots and they're going to destroy each other, anything could happen. There's so many variables with the robots that you just never know what's going to happen. Founder David Small says members come to the club with all different skill levels. People who have functioning robots, people who are interested, people who are just dipping their toes in, or people who, you know, people who want to try and learn more. The club is gaining interest at the perfect time as well. Wen Lung Jung, an assistant professor of Arizona State University's engineering program, says that the robotics industry in Arizona is growing with driverless cars and a bill to allow delivery robots. I do see that we have the potential of become the next big thing. The club is currently raising money to build an arena through GoFundMe.com. Small hopes that having their own arena will help more members prepare for competitions around the country. More interest in the sport in general, in just our local area, it's what we can do to help the sport grow. Arizona Robotic Combat hope to have the arena finished in March when they will host their first BattleBots competition. You might not be a champion right off the bat, but we're a group that's willing to teach and learn and bring in beginners. Teaching a love for the growing robotics field. In Phoenix, Jake Epley, Cronkite News. If you want to donate, we'll have more information and a link to their GoFundMe page on cronkitenews.azpbs.org.